we're in a room of inveterate note takers. So you have to put your pen down just for a moment. Four words, reality, guilt, loneliness, and forward. Okay, no writing. See if you can remember four words. And the way they do it, like me, because I just snuck this in, is they give you the words and then they change the subject. Then they come back and see if you remember. Does anybody remember the first word? Let's hear it. Reality. Reality. You guys are in a growth industry, I gotta tell you, but you know, there's a really dirty secret about Alzheimer's. Stand up for a second. Here's the dirty secret, okay? This woman is a researcher in Alzheimer's. Let me tell you a fact. We spend about $185 billion a year taking care of people with Alzheimer's, including people who don't get paid, and roughly $400 billion researching it. If you do the numbers, this person who is trying to find a cure for Alzheimer gets less than one cent of every dollar we are spending on the disease for research. Thank you. Do you know how we're selected? Family caregivers, do you know how we're picked? Geography. Do you know what it is? We're the next closest person to the person with Alzheimer's. That's how we're selected. No test, no training, no warning. I thought I was doing really well. I'm working eight hours a day at the office, coming home, watching out over Jim, with a caregiver living with me, who, as it turns out, also is a nurse. So she's monitoring things like my blood pressure, my weight, that kind of thing. And you know, the hardest thing for me was when she sat down and said, it's time to put Jan into assisted living. And I was like, why? Jan's really doing okay. And she said, it's not about Jan. You're going down. As the process goes on, without you realizing it, everything falls onto you. You end up running the whole family yourself. You don't really realize it. Because at the same time, something else is happening. Your life is shrinking. It's getting literally smaller. But the day I put Jan into an assisted living facility and turned and walked away was the first time in my life when I learned that you can weep so hard, you cannot stand. You fall to the floor. It was not just the end of what we had been, it was the end of everything we always were going to be. Does anybody remember the last word? So, I don't know how many emails you get a day. I get a bunch. I'm sure you do too. <clears throat> this one literally changed my life. This is from Jan's mom. We have to be honest about where Jan is going, which is nowhere, and you still have lots of life left. I am hopeful that you would find a woman with whom you can share your life. It would be good for you and couldn't possibly hurt Jan, who would never know or understand. Jan's mom saying, begin to move forward. 